Today we are going to do a tutorial on how to fix horizons. Uh, you can always go to my site for more tutorials or uh, free photos if you need them for your projects. I mainly do landscapes, but there's other stuff there too. But anyways, let's go on to the tutorial. Um, basically, sometimes when you take a photo, your camera is going to be somewhat tilted, um, or you know you're just, you might be kind of drunk or discombobulated or something, and so you think you're taking a straight photo, but it's it's really kind of tilted, and your photo ends up kind of looking like this. Uh, this picture is uh, taken at Port Washington in Wisconsin this morning at sunrise. So I actually took this photo slanted on purpose for the purpose of this tutorial, but I've seen many photos like this. So, you know, um, generally the lake horizon is supposed to be straight, but as you can see, it's definitely slanted a little bit to the left. And um, it just looks weird and it's not good for a photo. So we want to make it so the horizon is straight and uh, this photo just looks right and it doesn't look, look like the world is like falling over into the abyss. Alright, so you see where my cursor is up, near the 14 and the 16 on the ruler, and that's, those are Photoshop's guidelines. Um, and you just want to drag a guideline down, and that will tell you, um, the, the guideline basically is a pointer for you to, uh, how you want to adjust your horizon. You want your horizon, basically the lake line, to be parallel to this guideline. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to Image, Rotate Canvas, arbitrary and as you can see we need to rotate it clockwise I'm gonna say it's about 5.5 um, degrees off so we do 5.5 and as you can see it's still slightly off like right there so we're gonna what we're gonna do is do rotate again and we definitely don't want to rotate it 5.5 want to rotate it point one more and that is like perfect if you pull another guideline down, you can pull as many guidelines down as you want. They won't actually appear in the picture when you save it. So if you do this, then it lines up perfectly now. So um, so now you have you have a really good picture of you know with this horizon straight, but you have all this white space here, and you don't really want that in the photo. So you just click the crop button, and then you want to be careful with this crop because like you want to basically get a rectangular picture. Um, Without, without killing as little of the sky as possible. So basically, like do something like this, double click, and then you have you know a perfectly straight picture. And once you save it, you will have a picture with a perfectly straight horizon guideline. Uh, I'm not, I mean like a perfectly straight horizon. Uh, and when you save it, the guidelines won't be there. So let's just save. Uh, we'll save this as a JPEG. Um, and uh, We'll just save it as image 348 or whatever. And then um, we'll open it and uh, we'll see that it is a, a perfectly good image now. Now, um, you did, I mean, the picture is smaller than what it was. Um, and that's inevitable, that's like unavoidable if you actually um, uh, take a tilted picture in the first place, which is why you should not tilt your pictures generally. But that's how you fix it and um, this photo is probably 70 percent of its original size which is still plenty big it has high resolution and as you can see it's straight uh, it doesn't look like the world is falling and it's just a beautiful picture alright that is today's tutorial uh, if you like it please hit that thumbs up button subscribe and uh, visit my website if you have uh, anything else that you want me to address in Photoshop uh, just drop a line email me or let me know alright uh, have a good day that's today's tutorial thanks